Are you afraid of missing out on 8K TV or 8K content? If you are, stop the FOMO because we have a video for you today. It's about the recent research and this is written up by Scott Wilkinson, OG, thank you Scott. Posted on Tech Hive, linked below. It was recently done, a study, double blind test, Pixar, Warner Brothers, American Society of Cinematographers, Amazon Prime Video, and LG. They got together to do a double blind study to see if people can tell the difference between 8K source material and 4K upscaled to 8K, all on a beautiful 88 inch 8K OLED TV courtesy of LG. Could they tell the difference? Well, let's check it out and see. Or maybe we should all go out and get an 8K TV right now. Just wow. All this time, people have been saying, oh, I don't need to get an 8K TV because there's no 8K content. I need 8K content to get an 8K TV. Five years, there's gonna be 8K content, then I'll get my 8K TV, and you know what? That argument is dead. Recent study has just shown 8K TV does not need 8K content to look 8K. Does that even make sense? Well, let's just dive into it right now. So here's the deal. Let's talk about the study. The study was put together, double blind test by Warner Brothers, Pixar, Amazon Prime Video, and LG, and the American Society of Cinematographers. These companies got together and says, hey, Let's put together a true double blind test to see if 139 individuals in the audience to see if they can tell the difference between 8K content and 4K content upscale to 8K on an 8K TV. So what they did was, and you can read the research, I linked it below, it's pretty amazing. They got the best gear. We're talking from source, to transmission, to the actual TV. The TV itself, the $30,000 LG 88 inch 8K. That was the TV, an 88 inch TV. The participants sat a distance away from five feet all the way back, right? Up to nine feet, I think. And the content they were watching, again, with the content from Bugs Life, to the amazing Spears and Munsell sample nature scenes, and these guys got together to see if they could tell the difference in a double blind test between the 8K version of this content and the 4K version upscaled to 8K. Okay, so here's the shocker. Unless you are sitting five feet in front of the 88 inch, you could notice the difference. And even if you could notice the difference, it didn't really add to the quality difference, and it was only in certain movies like Pixar's Bug Life or the Spears and Muscles Test CD, maybe due to its high frequency frame rate nature, but the rest of the clips and materials, indistinguishable. Yes, whether you took 4K material and upscaled it to 8K on an 8K TV or 8K native watched on the 8K TV didn't make a difference and it only did when you had 2010 vision of five feet. So we're talking super power vision, five feet away from an 88 inch screen. That's when you could tell the difference 
if it was 8K or upscaled 4K. Now this blows my mind, why? Up to this point, what was the argument? Why should I get 8K? There's no 8K content. Folks, you don't need 8K content to look 8K. You take 4K material, you upscale it on 8K TV, and it looks like 8K. Whoa. Remember, up to this point, many people were saying, oh, 4K on native 4K TV looks great. Apparently, here, if you have good upscaling, and let me take a step back. This is not the LG display doing the upscaling. They upscaled it outside of the TV on another piece of equipment, then they put that upscaled version of 4K into an 8K container and shot it into the TV. So as far as the TV is concerned, it thought it was receiving an 8K signal. It was actually receiving an 8K container with a 4K signal inside. Simple upscaling, nothing fancy. And then they took the true native 8K version of that same signal or the same content and showed it to the, the audience. And so this was a double blind test. And the audience, for the most part, the ones that were not sitting five feet away with supervision, couldn't tell the difference. Okay, so of course, I'm here saying, hey, this is great. 8K TV, 4K content, you upscale it, it looks great. What was not answered in this research? And I'm very curious. How would a 4K TV fare? What if you had an 88 inch 4K TV with 4K material? Would that have made a difference? The problem with that is it's more difficult to do a double blind that way. But regardless, in this year's shootout between a 4K TV and an 8K TV, this is going to be extraordinarily interesting because this research, again, we're starting the TV season for 2020 on such an amazing bang because this research put forth by Hollywood heavies, right? Pixar, Amazon Prime Video, LG, Warner Brothers, the American Society of Cinematographers, I think they were hoping for a different result. I think they were saying, all right, here's a great excuse for us to start shooting in 8K because people will want 8K content and that fell flat on its face. People, 4K content upscale to 8K is basically identical on an 8K TV. Wow. Okay, so what am I getting at here? For those of you waiting for 8K content, this research pretty much puts a nail in that coffin. Content producers will not, will not, will have zero interest in wasting a penny on 8K produced content. Because what's the point? First, unless you have a $30,000 OLED, 88 inch size, and you're gonna sit five feet away, you can't tell the difference, right? Second, it is so expensive to shoot in 8K and to produce. And the entire workflow of 8K is insanely expensive from capture to edit to production to post-production. What a nightmare. Not worth it. And if this research indicates anything, it indicates we're done. As far as the resolution wars and content, we are stopping at 4K full stop. There will be no 8K streaming. There's gonna be no 8K anything because the TV that you'll be watching that 8K content looks just as good if you took 4K and upscaled the darn thing into 8K. Okay, so does this change your mind? Well, let's talk about this. Jump in there and throw in your comments right now because I'm wondering here if you're only gonna buy an 8K TV if there's 8K content, well, that would make sense if the 8K content made a difference. But what if the 8K content makes no difference at all, which is what this research, this study has shown, right? That 4K content upscale to 8K, psh, good enough. This leads us to the elephant in the room. Should you buy an 8K TV now? No, obviously not. That's not what the research is saying. But what it is saying is this. If you do get an 8K TV, 
Don't even worry about the 8K content. You are getting a great TV that will make 4K content look like native 8K content. So all of this nonsense about, oh, we're gonna watch 8K on YouTube, blah, blah, and all this fight and concern about the proper 8K codex, it's a moot point. The audience doesn't care. The audience can't tell the difference. If this study has done anything, it's pretty much disappointed those who are pro 8K content. But what about consumers who just got screwed out of their 4K flagship? We've talked about that before, right? How Samsung has said, you know what? The future is an 8K TV. Maybe it is, you know, maybe it's good enough when you take 4K and you upscale it to 8K. Maybe Samsung is right. Or just maybe 4K TV, 4K content looks just as good as 4K content upscale to 8K TV. We don't know. This year, in this year's shootouts, this will be answered and oh, I'm excited, really excited now. I'm going to be able to answer that question for myself because we have 4K flagship in the Q90R and we're going to have the 8K flagship from Samsung. I can't wait to compare 4K on a native TV by Samsung and 4K upscaled to their flagship 8K. And I'm going to see, hey, it looks great. Or, hey, that was money flushed down the drain. <laughs> anyway, read the research. Let me know. It's not long. I just love the level of detail and thoroughness that these guys put it together. I mean, this is Hollywood heavyweights, right? And I know it was a surprise for them. And thank you again to Scott Wilkinson for writing the article because oh, Scott, if you're watching this, I would love to have you on my show. I would love to talk about what you think is the impact. What I think is the impact is quite simply, 8K TV is here to stay. And this kind of pushes Samsung's narrative that, hey, we could take 4K and make it look good on 8K. Look, LG already did the research for us. The irony, right? LG is like, no! Once again, this research shows upscale 4K done right is indistinguishable from native 8K. Or 8K and 4K, indistinguishable, period. That remains to be seen. So until next time, guys, stop the phone. Working on the plot and the scheme, the true stock trademark is at the edge of your dreams. I'm talking one, one shot for the kill, the breeze cut, freeze up, straight drop in the chills. I'm talking taking over pieces and shares of all big sky high. Check the movement is here. Yeah, yeah. It's one heart, one shot, not a